Welcome to the Leeward Islands District Daily Devotional for today. Welkom bij de Leeward Islands District Daily Devotional voor vandaag. This week, we, the young adults from the Holland Circuit, invite you to serve the Lord with gladness. I am Radhika Richardson. And I am Radhika Richardson. We are sisters, members of the Rotterdam Congregation, where we use our musical skills in the service of the Lord and His Church. We come from a family of musicians and have properly inherited the talent, but we have also trained and acquired skills in that area. We both sing and have used this gift to help the church to worship as a body. For example, during COVID lockdown, we had the privilege and pleasure of pre-recording songs so that we could continue with virtual worship. The closing song that we have been using this week and which we shall close with today is one of the recordings that we made during lockdown. The gifts and skills with which we are blessed, all of us, are given for God's glory and we have been pleased to give God the glory in this way. And also to enable others to give God the glory by leading the singing, even when we cannot see those who are singing along with us. We encourage you to use your gifts, your skills and abilities, and serve the Lord with gladness. Let us pray. Dear Lord and Father of all, we bless your holy name. We adore you because you are wonderful, indeed amazing. Thanks, dear God, for Christian families that nurture us and encourage us to serve you. Thank you for gifting us in ways that we can give service and enjoy our place in serving you. As we start the day, we give you praise and thanks for who you are, for knowing that you accept us and promise to dwell even in our praises to you. You, O oh Lord God, are truly wonderful. It is good to live in fellowship with you. We pray for those who have no relationship with you and are at a loss. We pray for those without hope, those who have given up, and we ask that the light of your love will shine in dark places. As we offer ourselves in your service, we pray, O oh God, that we will touch lives for you even as we sing your praise. Blessed are you, eternal God, now and forever. Amen. <laughs> we praise your name, God. We praise your name, God. We all have different reasons to praise him, but we will praise you, Lord. You deserve the glory and the honor we lift our hands in worship.
The scripture reading comes from Psalm 150. Praise the Lord. Praise God in his sanctuary. Praise him in his mighty firmament. Praise him for his mighty deeds. Praise him according to his surpassing greatness. Praise him with trumpet sound. Praise him with lute and harp. Praise him with tambourine and dance. Praise him with strings and pipe. Praise him with clanging cymbals. Praise him with loud clashing cymbals. Let everything that breathes praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. In the psalm that we just read, the psalmist calls on people to praise the Lord with various musical instruments, with song and dance. We can identify with that. We know that it gives pleasure both to God and to the worshiper to praise the Lord through music, song, and dance. Serving God requires us to do practical things, to actually use our gifts and abilities in the service of our master. That's why God gifted us in the first place. You may think that you have gifts to help you earn a living. That is true. God cares about providing for you. Does it not make sense, then, that the very talents which put you in a position to earn a living should be offered to God? The Lord, who does the very best, will add to it. In the Bible, we read the parable of the talents. In that parable with the one who hid his talents, we scolded for so doing. Let us try not to be like the one whose talent was hidden, because he thought it too risky to invest. Invest who you are in serving the Lord. Serve the Lord with gladness, and you will be better off for doing so. May the Lord guide you in your undertakings, as you try to do God's will and seek God's purpose for your life. Perhaps you live from day to day But I confess that I have met the Jesus Christ And know that He's the only way I just want to follow Jesus Follow each and every day And I want to serve and praise Him As I walk the narrow way where he leads me, I will follow From the start until the end I will stay with him forever He's my nearest, dearest friend I'm growing older, wiser, seeing things more clear And value this great friend of me That's why I try to show off to all my friends and tell them of the price he's paid. Life has more meaning now that I've known Jesus Christ. I've got the strength to cope with all. His spirit is my guide, never am I afraid, and I will always need his call. I just want to follow Jesus. Follow each and every day And I want to serve and praise Him As I walk the narrow way Where He leads me I will follow From the start until the end I will stay with Him forever He's my nearest, dearest friend I consecrate my life to serving Jesus Christ. I've made this pledge to God in thee. I put my trust in Him 
and seeks to do His will. He satisfies my every need. If you have not as yet given your life to Him, I beg of you, do not delay. I call on you to put your faith in Jesus Christ and join with me these words to say. I just want to follow Jesus, follow each and every day, and I want to serve and praise Him as I walk the narrow way. Where He leads me, I will follow. From the start until the end, I will stay with Him forever. He's my nearest, dearest friend. He's my nearest, dearest friend. He's my nearest, dearest friend. We say thanks to you for being a part of today's devotional. We trust that you have been blessed. We are. Have a good day in the Lord. Amen. Amen.